What's going on guys, Miss Wilson Wade here today and uh, welcome back to another Call of Duty World War 2 video. In my last video I posted a rage charge for you guys which uh, you guys did seem to enjoy quite a bit so I'll be posting another one of them during World War 2 but I don't want to fake any rages or anything, I want them to come genuine and uh, it does take quite a while to edit because for me it's quite a big project since I did ed uh, edit it all myself. So uh, it will take quite a while for another one to come out but um, if you haven't checked it out, you know, go check out my last video. And uh, it's just quite a fun rage stage. It's quite funny just watching me rage, I guess. For me, it's quite embarrassing, but you know, thought you guys would enjoy it, so that's why it's up there. And I know some people might make fun of me for uh, raging that much at a video game, but for me, you know, it's just games piss me off. Like, that's the same for loads of people, but some people might not understand why I get so angry at games, but you know, I, it's hard to explain, so I'm not going to bother going into detail on why games annoy me so much in this video, but loads of people do understand. And uh, the video actually was based off a uh, video by a person named Faze Jeff, who is the king of rage charges. He rages even more than I do, so you know, go check out Faze Jeff. Most people already know who he is anyway. But he makes rage charges, and he's just he makes just really good content in general, and he's really good at Call of Duty compared to me at least. And uh, yeah, you guys should definitely check him out. So the last time I posted an actual video of me talking in it, apart from the rage charge, but I don't think that really counts. That's just a compilation of stuff that's happened with me uh, yeah before then it was just me explaining why I wanted to change up my content and uh, basically since then we've got uh, this which is the uh, you know the winter update for Call of Duty World War 2 well you've probably seen this update by now anyway but uh, for me it just came out today since that's when I'm recording the video you guys will see it a lot later on and uh, there will be other stuff that you guys have that I haven't got yet as in the uh, thanks for commending me the uh, winter supply drops and uh, the winter bribe you guys probably have by the time this video is up and also winter Carrington as well which I haven't experienced yet but uh, hopefully it will be good. So they have some pretty cool things in uh, the headquarters and uh, this guy's running off with one of them uh, if I can catch him right here. Okay so basically guys this guy in his hand uh, I'll try and make it so you guys can see if he doesn't jump away from me right here. Is, uh, he's actually got a snow globe in his hand, I don't know if you guys can see that there, which actually that used to be the gridiron football, oops, I'm going in there, yeah, the gridiron football, so that's pretty cool, they made the football into a snow globe. So another cool thing they did, apart from putting the snow and the Christmas tree in the middle, and obviously the gridiron football, is um, if you do throw a grenade into here, something pretty cool happens. Just that, loads of like fireworks, presents, stuff about. There's also something where if you shoot like all of these targets and stuff in a certain way, there's like uh, these, you know, snowman heads pop down here and just like you can shoot them and it explodes, which is pretty cool as well. There's some other Easter eggs in the headquarters that I don't really know of, because I don't really look them up or anything, but um, you know, you guys can find them out all yourself. Go and look at other YouTubers that actually give you tutorials and actually how to do stuff. Don't really take my advice for the things. Okay guys, as I was saying before I started talking about the headquarters, I have changed up my content, as you guys can see probably by this video, but um, basically uh, my previous video before the rage charge was all about, you know, just me changing up my content, which, you know, trying to do, hopefully it's improved, you guys can leave a comment and tell me if, you know, you prefer these type of style videos. But um, basically, I'm not going to post every single time I prestige. I'm not going to make a whole prestiging video. If you guys still want to see my stats, leave a comment down below as well, just to you know ask if you still want to see my stats and stuff like that. They're, they don't change that much. It's not that cool. But uh, might as well go prestige now since I've been waiting on prestige six for a couple hours now, and that you know prestige icon does look pretty cool right there. It's pretty cool how they made this. It, you know, have snow behind like this little menu bit here. So, uh, you know, that's Prestige Prestige 6 right here, pretty cool icon, gave me even more, I don't know what it's called, salvage, whatever they call it in this game. Uh, yeah guys, I've also been saving up supply drops, because uh, they've released new weapons into the game now. Oh, there we go, is it going to go over my head? There we go, and we got all of these things flying around for me, you know, because uh, Prestige 6. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, they've got um, new weapons into the game, which I'm not going to be using my supply drops for. I've got 85 right here, because I'm waiting for snipers to get put in the game, because I'm still a sniper, I still want to snipe, and I'm waiting on that new sniper in the game. At the moment, though, they've got, I think, uh, like a pickaxe type thing. I don't know what they're called, like the ones that they, you know, put in the mountains and like the snowy mountains. I'm not smart, I don't know, okay, guys. Uh, and then they have an LMG, an assault rifle, and a submachine gun, I think they have, if I'm not mistaken. But no sniper, uh, sniper rifle and no shotgun. So I'm just going to wait for, you know, for a new sniper rifle. 
and then I can always just use my spy drop, make a spy drop opening for you guys, and uh, you know, get that, uh, get that sniper off, and hopefully be lucky. Okay guys, we've gone into a game right here, I don't know what it is, it just went to put me straight into a game, goose up cannon, hopefully if we get a good lobby, we could start a streak, something like that, just while I'm talking, just about other things basically. Um, yeah, basically guys, obviously I want you guys to tell me whether or not you prefer these type of videos where I just, uh, you know, just talk with you guys, just talk about anything random to be honest, and uh, just have some gameplay in the background and just me playing, and um, yeah, just those type of videos. At least my team did win, and I, I don't know if I went positive or not, but it doesn't really matter. Six and four. And this guy just dropped right at me with the bar. I love lobbies right now. That's, you know, 1.40 in the morning. That's just perfect time for Postal Duty, isn't it? And I just got triple beaded, and he's still going sick. Oh my god, I just love getting put on fire! I just got a hit marker with the Springfield and then couldn't even kill him with a pistol. This game's going so good. And we got defeat and I went completely negative 3 to 8. Uh. Okay guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video today. Drop a like down below if you did. And uh, comment what other videos you'd like to see me do in the next following weeks for Christmas and New Year's and all that. Should be making a Christmas montage, you don't really know yet. Yeah, remember to check out my race stars and other videos should be popping up right about here in a minute. And, uh, yeah guys, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh, yeah, see ya.